Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna give everyone a little lesson right now, everyone in the Hoya chat, because I feel like there's a lot of people I'm seeing typing stuff that don't that don't understand exactly why I use the res I use, and they keep saying use 1728, it's better for the pressure gun, which means the recoil control, but it's not. Look at this, look at this wall, alright? I'll leave the comp on. Look at what the fuck yo, Pog. Um, let me find a nice wall to do it on. Ooh, hold up. I want to find a nice wall or like a rock or something. Do it on this thing out here. One of these tall blue things. Does that leave a bullet hole in it? Yeah, it does. Okay. <clears throat> Alright, so... What people aren't understanding about resolution, and it keeps pissing me off, is that stretch res just makes your game look, uh... It just makes your game shorter. Like, if I start spraying the base of this... Like the bottom of the metal right here. And I don't control the recoil at all. I just hold shift. And then I... So that's the dead middle of my screen. And now I let go. That is the recoil. Now look, if I look at this on my screen right now. If I look at the first dot. The recoil goes off the top of my screen. The dots continue past the top of my screen. Right? If I switch to 1728... the dots now barely go off the top of my screen because my, my vertical FOV is higher. So if I do a spray now, it's going to feel like I have less recoil. Hello, goat. Hope you are doing well. Clinking beer mugs. It's, it's the same recoil. It just feels like you have less because when you play 1728, it squishes your screen down vertically. Like, 1728 does not make this this wider it does not make this thing like this distance from there to there bigger on my screen like look i'll put the, i'll put it right up against the edges of my screen right now you see both sides of my screen are by the edge of the cinder block you can't really see when i have a gun out you see a little bit of air on both sides right if i go switch to my other res it's the same thickness sideways it just stretches it out vertically it doesn't make them wider. I don't know why everyone thinks this. It, it's so... It's wrong. And all the Chinese pro players... I, they, I, I choose to believe that they understand that it doesn't make things wider. It only makes them shorter. And you, it looks like they're wider, but they're actually just shorter. There's, there's two ways you can um, change your, your... Your screen to make it look wider. And one of them is to reduce your horizontal fob, but the second alternative is to increase the vertical fob. And that's what happens. That's what this game does. It increases the vertical fob, so stretch res is bad. Stretch res gives you no advantages. The only advantage stretch res gives you is that... <clears throat> um, Because your vertical FOV is higher, it makes things render in at worse quality. Like, look at this, look at this tree over here, for example. Right? See, it, it's potato render right now. When I get to this range right here, it renders in. And now, if I switch to 1728, because my vertical FOV is increased, it goes back to potato render. See, it's potato render again, within the same distance. And now, look how close I can get to it before it turns normal render again. Now, this, this it turns normal render now. So I can get like 10 meters closer before that unpotatoes, right? And that's the only reason 1728 is good. Because when trees are on the side of your screen, you can see through trees. <clears throat> you can see players behind them and shit. Which is just bug abusing. I played on 1728 for my first three years playing pro. I just don't think it's the play. So I just don't really see why. Why it's the meta at the moment, it frustrates me. I hope the translation of that was good.
But yeah, that's why I play <clears throat> 1920 by 1016. Oh, sorry, 1920 by 1060 at the moment, because I'm testing it out. Because it makes things bigger on my screen, it gives me a bigger margin for error. I find it easier to recoil control when the target is bigger on my screen. I can focus on it more. It's, he's, this character, look how big this character is right now. You see, he's quite large. Yeah, and if I go to 1728, He's gonna be fucking, he's gonna be tiny. He's literally minuscule. If I hit this spray on this guy right now, it would literally look like the most pristine, insane spray of my life. It'd be like, oh my God. But that's just cause he looks so minuscule and you don't give yourself, you like, you don't give your eyes like enough time to respond to the, the changes in recoil when it's so small compared to how big he is here. He's massive here. Right? This is an easier spray. And it makes, it makes, it makes this fucking spray look easier than it is. Like this spray right now looks easy, right? But this shit, that's a 150 meter spray. Right there. That's 150 meters and I'm killing him every time. That's how far Ming Ming shot that guy out of the car from in the tournament. And it doesn't look like it's that far. 